Section 48 of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Memory by Anne Bronte Brightly the sun of summer shone, green fields and waving woods upon, and soft winds wandered by, above a sky of purest blue. Around bright flowers of loveliest hue allured the gazer's eye. But what were all these charms to me when one sweet breath of memory came gently wafting by? I closed my eyes against the day and called the willing soul away from earth and air and sky, that I might simply fancy there one little flower, a primrose fair, just opening into sight, as in the days of infancy, an opening primrose seemed to me a source of strange delight. Sweet memory, ever smile on me. Nature's chief beauties spring from thee. Oh, still thy tribute bring, still make the golden crocus shine, among the flowers the most divine, the glory of the spring. Still in the wallflower's fragrance dwell, and hover round the slight bluebell. My childhood's darling flower, smile on the little daisy still, the buttercup's bright goblet fill, with all thy former power. Forever hang thy dreamy spell, round mountain star and heather bell, and do not pass away from sparkling frost or wreath snow, and whisper when the wild winds blow, or rippling waters play. Is childhood then so all divine? Or memory is the glory thine that halos thus the past? Not all divine its pangs of grief, although perchance their stay be brief, are bitter while they last. Nor is the glory all thine own, for on our earliest joys alone that holy light is cast. With such a ray no spell of thine Can make our later pleasures shine, Though long ago they passed. End of section 48